My name is Dr. Jens Hilgers. Uh, I'm the chief of multiple myeloma in uh, Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center in Buffalo, New York. MGAS is monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance caused by uh, multiplication of uh, plasma cells. Plasma cells are part of the immune system. They produce so-called antibodies um, to attack germs in the body. Plasma cells get sick, get cancerous, and they don't stop proliferate and don't stop producing one antibody. And we can measure that as a so-called monoclonal protein. And the early stage is the benign, not disease MGAS, which is not basically a, a disease by itself, it's just a finding, a lab finding, that some of those plasma cells produce the wrong antibody, a, a useless antibody. We had patients with MGAS where we saw, okay, they are in this MGAS stage for years, decades sometimes, and uh, most of those patients never develop really cancer. And it's rather common, it's found in between 5 and 10% of the elderly population, so it's a rather common finding, which is, as I said, basically not really a disease. And then we have the multiple myeloma, which is very rare, which is uh, the newly diagnosed, we say about 5 in five to 10 in 100,000 inhabitants per year, which is very rare. Um, so we have this very common MGAS, we have this very rare myeloma, and we, we needed kind of an explanation, uh, how do patients come from MGAS to multiple myeloma? And this in-between stage is the so-called smoldering myeloma. So MGAS and smoldering myeloma both don't have any symptoms, the patients don't don't have symptoms, um, so both are um, diagnosed by accident. That's also another characteristic. And the smoldering myeloma has a risk of progression about 10% per year in multiple myeloma, while the MGAS has a risk of about 1% per year.